What's going on YouTube? Man, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Oh, never mind. It's freaking raining again, man. It's rained uh, eight out of the past nine or ten days. It's crazy. So, ain't gonna be no running today, man, but what we can do is go over my Losi collection here. We're gonna go over these, clear some spot over here on the bench. Um, big shout out Blue Groove Motorsports. Appreciate you. Thank you for the kind letter. Sorry I haven't gotten back to you work. Other things have been pretty nutty, man. Weather's been crazy. I've been cutting some trees in the back on the Woogie Nitro ramps. I'll show you all that. Well, here, take a look. it with the platforms y'all see me hit that tree many times as well as the telephone pole but i ain't cutting the pole down but anyway let's get this stuff down get it over here on the uh uh bench and uh absolutely man i'd love to come down there h-town we'll have a little rc party we'll, we'll shoot some video some footage and uh the other person that you mentioned that would be badass i'd love to reach out to both of y'all we may have a little bash fest going on down in houston uh stay tuned for that guys anyway let's get this stuff down off the shelf let me show you all what else is going on uh next rip since we got the trees down we're going to hit this uh 8xt out there and then we're going to do some uh tuning uh testing with the heavy duty lst diff cups in the front hopefully they won't break that's the only issue i've had with this platform man i'm always breaking the original uh, uh tlr uh cvds and then we moved up to the techno cvds because they fit and they're a little beefier more durable probably better quality and uh but now we we're breaking the uh out drive cups there so heavy duty lst drive cups in there see how that works i'm a basher i don't need light and drive cups no big deal don't even need light and spur gear but we got one in there just to get those rpms turning a little bit better um Fifth scale, nothing's really changed. I did find an issue here on the ESP, on the uh, found shred, shr uh, shroud, and the engine casing. I'll show that to you here in a little bit. But for right now, let's get these Losi's down, these iconic trucks right here. Beautiful, uh, pretty much all stock, but I'll go over that here in a few minutes. So bear with me one second. We'll see y'all shortly. Peace. Here we go, first up, Losi XXL. So the LST basically dropped in 2008. Losi item number LOSB0016 RTR Monster Truck. Uh, the body off real quick, let's take a look here. So uh, a four level design right there. I don't know where they get the four levels, oh I guess here here and then here 
so you have your your front and your rear uh, clips so I guess that's the the fourth but uh, basically it, it's uh, got steel type diffs it has a two-speed gearbox and originally had a manual high low drive gear providing four forward speeds uh, I believe they also had reverse in here uh, a lot of people as myself did we upgraded these to the forward only conversion which you can still get those uh, I believe at a main um, my particular LST is running um, titanium nitrate gears and uh, we're running the Novorossi Truggy 288. Uh, this was uh, sent back to me from David RC when I purchased this LST back from him. Uh, we're running the 41010 on road or 41015 on road header, uh, which ironically is the same header that I'm running on the um, Jado. So. Got the same header that I'm running on a big Truggy 28.8 on the Traxxas 3.3 with a little modification. And we're running the uh, infamous Novorossi 9886. Uh, this is not a super strong. This is just the original 9886, which it is original. I don't know if you can see it there, uh, but this one is marked 9886, not the... Uh, other number so this is an original Novorossi 9886 this is an on-road setup which a lot of people use uh, for uh, modified engines great it was dynoed and all that but uh, we won't get into all that so basically the truck has universal drive shafts it originally came with a big block Losi 454 and a Spectrum DX3 radio system. This radio here came with the Muggy, the JR radio. It's a badass radio and actually still works. And I think the XXL came with Spectrum servos. I'm not too sure though. So this is my LST XXL. It's a beautiful truck. We're running a motor saver filter on it. Um, there are some upgrades, like my standoffs here, I upgraded to the aluminum standoffs. Again, the titanium nitrate uh, gears. This truck runs and drive. In fact, it might be one of the next ones that I fire up. Um, I don't run it too much just because it's iconic. I do see an issue right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I didn't even notice that, but look, the uh, not the king pin, but the hinge pin. King pins are up top here. The hinge pin looks like it slid all the way out, so we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's part of the it missing the the C clip on the end. These do have C clip pins, but uh, you know, running these big. Uh, these are big Joes, man. These are the original big Joes. We do have a 17 millimeter. Um, conversion here because normally they come with the 20 millimeter the uh, LST2 I'm running 23 millimeter so I went the opposite direction on this one to do the the wheeled racing rims um, and then original shocks we did upgrade our, our springs here um, these springs I had these are the heavy-duty springs for the LST I had them on here at first switched them over to that one because we were running the dynamite um, original fuel tank on here um, we have the aluminum uh, man there's a name for these I forget what you call these sway bar uh, links that hold them in here so aluminum I had them in the front but I, I can't find them anywhere um, running an, an exter external filter uh, this this tank does work the primer everything uh, roto start here's your bottom uh, there's your transmission brace right there Runs a flat pack nickel metal hydrate. Um, it's a great truck, man. Once you get used to it, it's kind of like the Baja. You know, it's kind of a bitch breaking it down and setting it up. But once you get used to how it works, uh, dual dual steering ser servos there. Every Everything's original when it comes to the chassis and the suspension and all that. I did upgrade to titanium turnbuckles on this one. Um, but other than that, she's she's pretty much stock and good to go. You got your grommets there where your your uh, wires come through. Uh, here you had uh, another servo where you could 
in the rear, um, I'm assuming uh, that would be if you went with the electric conversions. A lot of people went with the electric conversion on this, uh, but I would never do something like that. Same thing with my uh, same thing with my uh, 5B here. I'd never convert this. If I wanted to do a conversion, which I do want to do a conversion on one of these, but it wouldn't be a conversion. I would just get another platform if they ever come back with these. Uh, they're not back in stock as far as I know. Um, we would do a, an electric one kind of like uh, Todd RC Ohio did. Uh, that was a badass conversion. Also, uh, uh, Mitos had a really badass one. Uh, look up Mitos on, on YouTube. Uh, but there you go. That's my LST1 original XXL. She's a beautiful platform. She runs and drives. I don't have a radio in her right now, but uh, you know, again, once you get used to these trucks, they're they're fairly easy to work on. Uh, this one has the aluminum uh, diff housings in there. Uh, that's another upgrade that I have on this. There were um, some. Uh, diff cups the internal diff cup there not the housing but the internal diff cup they had i forget what they were called um mac maximizer or, oh man i forget the name of those things but um they're uh high dollar man they were like 50 dollar diff cups man so it does have the diff cups there's those lst drive cups um it did have uh uh the stock ones but we upgraded to the um, aluminum maximizer diffs yeah I forget uh, yeah both front and back on this so there's a hundred dollars in diff cups in this thing as well um, okay all right so well I was trying to see if I had the the cat because I had the cap to that thing at one time so you could see what it actually was um, there's this sway bar kit all right anyway i'm getting sidetracked so that's my xxl nova rossi badass engine i don't know i only ran this a couple of times uh david rc said this might have two or three gallons on it but still has a lot of compression it's a badass nova rossi uh engine right there so all right let's check out the next one the muggy <laughs> muggy i've never even run one of these i've started the engine but i've never run it uh the losi muggy actually came out in 2006 uh that is item number losb 18 this is an rtr monster truck part chuggy part monster truck 
or MT, so therefore called the Muggy. It's a hybrid. It's a beautiful platform. It's a shaft-driven alloy chassis design, uh, full metal gear diffs, universal drive shafts, and it originally came with the Losi Sport 427 engine, and uh, like I said before, the JR uh, radio system with the JR servos. So this one is one of my pride and joys. Um, you know, shout out to, to, you know who you are, uh, shout out to Chino, I appreciate you, man, everything you did for me, uh, Chino sent me this, uh, brand new, uh, muggy, clear body, so we haven't done anything with it, it's got all the muggy stickers and everything in there, um, again, haven't done anything with it, but this one still has the, uh, 427 engine, uh, basically brand new i think this thing probably has only been run a handful of times uh you can look and see how clean this thing is uh she's a beautiful platform man um still has the original jr servos in it everything works properly um it's a uh, it's a badass truggy man monster monster truggy monster buggy whatever the hell you want to call it man but unlike the LST and the LST XXL, and uh, just to correct a mistake that I said a little bit earlier in this video, the XXL was not the original uh, LST. The original LST is here, and we're going to go over that here in just a second as well. Uh, that platform dropped out prior to any of them. Uh, I believe that this is an original LST right here, but we'll go over it. Um, I don't think it's a... Uh, What's that other one? Uh, aftershock. I was trying to figure out, remember what it was. I don't think that's the Aftershock. I think this is an original LST right here. But the Muggy doesn't have the uh, four level uh, chassis. It's got a single alloy chassis. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, thickness of this chassis is, but uh, basically set up just like a Truggy, man. Uh, but shares a lot of the same parts as the LST and the XXL and the Aftershock and all of them, basically. But uh, this one here is all original, with the exception of the filter. This is a brand new filter that I put on here. Uh, got it from my local hobby shop, but everything else is original and works perfect. This truck is amazing, and uh, that's one reason that I do not run it. The only thing it doesn't have, and I don't remember, I don't know if it came with a wing or not. This might have been an aftermarket upgrade. I know on the, the LST and the XXL, uh, you could get the wing mount and the wing. I don't think it came standard, though. So, um, here you go. Uh, plastic diff housing. Um, I haven't been in the diffs of this truck, so I don't know if the uh, what the diff cups actually look like. But it is a roto start. Uh, we do have uh, beautiful shiny uh, CVDs in there. Everything stock on this thing, man. Original battery box. Look at my MIP um, antenna topper there. She's beautiful though. They share a lot of the same parts as the LST. And that's what, you know, A arms, uh, uh, shocks, A arms, mounts, bumpers, uh, dog bones, all that stuff. Your, your hub carriers, all that stuff is uh, standard LST, Losi Super Truck stuff. Again, 20 millimeter hexes here. These are the original uh, Team Losi wheels that came with it. Uh, we've also got a few things um, here for it. These these are all my LST parts in here, gears, whatnot. Um, I do have the one piece motor mount for this. So if I wanted to run a bump box rather than the Roto Start, I could do that. But this is this is an all original Losi. I'm not sure if it came with the Losi clutch or not. Um, I'm assuming it probably did, but I put this Losi clutch on here. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe it came with this. I, man, I don't remember, to be honest with you. So I know on the XXL and the LST, there's a special 454 clutch uh, 
flywheel and all that that you have to use uh, because of the two speed but there are ways to put a standard flywheel on you just have to shim it properly and whatnot so anyway there is my low C muggy platform that I will probably never run just because it is so clean um, I mean if it was beat up a little bit more I would probably run it but in this condition man it's uh it's basically an iconic shelf queen right there all right guys so that's it that's my low C muggy right there um next up we'll do uh uh, we'll probably do the mini next. This is part of the LST family here, even though it's an E-word. We'll go over this next, and then we'll go over the uh, LST, the original LST here. So, see you guys in a few minutes, man. Peace. All right. Here we go. This is my LST mini. Uh, I'm not going to do an intro on this one, even though I love this little truck. I bought this truck for 60 bucks at my local hobby shop, and it's clean. I ran it a few times with my uh, grandkids and whatnot, um, but I made sure not to beat it up. So, again, it is an electric. Um, it's a beautiful platform. It's an exact replica of the LST XXL in the LST. Everything is there. Servos. All good, man. Let's uh, just take the body off of it and we'll, oh no, let's take the body off and I'll let you know what it's all about here. Come on, get off. She's a little dirty from the last time we ran it. She's all original. You can actually take this whole thing off that has the uh, ESC and the, um, what you call it, the receiver. But basically, the LST Mini was released one year after the LST. We'll go to the LST. So that means the LST came out in 2004, which is correct. Uh, the LST Mini came out in 2005. And uh, the part number for that truck is LOSB0215. So it came with twin frenzy 370 motors these are twin motors 370 uh, brushed um, and the uh, one piece ESC here and the, the low C 27 megahertz um, receiver uh, not sure I think it came with these uh, motor heat sinks on here and I've got a lot of LST mini parts as well. Uh, I've got this gear cover. It's a, a brand new gear cover on there. Um, I've had this thing completely apart just to check it out. But I think it's amazing, man. <laughs> this thing is beautiful. Look at this. Holy smokes, man. Beautiful, beautiful truck here for a little mini E-Word, man. Uh, we'll probably never run this again, but uh, I do have parts for it Not that many, but I got a, I got a few parts for the mini I've got some shock upgrades here and, and some shocks and, and retainer clips and and some other stuff going on here for it But uh, I've kind of dwindled down on my LST parts. I've got uh, I've got others in here as well That's not there um, I've got LST stuff in here, all my transmissions and, and tanks and, and, and other parts for it. Um, and I just noticed I had these in here. I got a couple engines in here too. Novorossi P5, Works B2, and this is uh, this was that cheesy OS knockoff that came out of the um, the Red Cat avalanche or whatever the hell it is a few little mugen parts anyway getting off track so lst mini here beautiful platform i love this truck uh and uh i'm glad i have it in my collection so all right next up the original lst let's take a look and then we're going to fire one of these things up well probably not that one we're going to fire one of these up uh, probably this one, probably the Truggy 28. I know y'all like to see the big blocks. And we just ran uh, this truck the other day. You saw it with the uh, Dynamite Big Red. So, all right. See you in a minute. All right. Here we go. 
this is what started it all this is a losi super truck right here so this platform was released in 2004 the item number for the original lst is losb 0010 it is an rtr monster truck again based on a four level design uh, with steel type diffs has a two-speed gearbox it originally had a manual high low drive gear providing four forward forward speeds universal drive shafts originally came with a big block as well seven port seven port point 26 with a roto start and the uh jr radio system so let's take a look this has been one of my more uh used lsts even though it was uh an original lst um it has been run and used it is a uh fully functioning platform as you saw the other day this dynamite 0.28 put this thing in the air very easily um has a lot of the original parts we've got it lowered down just a little bit uh does have metal uh diff housings and metal diff cups this one also is carrying the maximizer diffs uh 50 bucks a pop way back in the day back 2004 2005 when it came out uh this one i am running the dynamite platinum 007 high torque uh with the original roller coaster um manifold there uh, pull start again it did come with the uh, I believe the Mach 26 the blue head uh, .26 nitro engine um, later on they started coming out with the roto spin start combo I need to clean this one up it hadn't even been cleaned from the last run um, and, and everything's been switched over on this one it's got the forward only we are running only plastic gear set in this one um, and again two-speed bill with the low c454 uh flywheel clutch set up there um another beautiful truck but this is the one that uh started it all i do have the upgraded drive shafts in this uh carbon fiber uh brake pads and again dual steering servos on it uh, but we did upgrade the center drive shafts on this um, but basically all the same parts as well again I'm running 23 millimeter hex on this one originally came with 20 millimeter hex and uh, did come with these blue shocks as well I do believe um, I'm not too sure I don't remember maybe they came with plastics you know what these are upgraded I think I got these at my local hobby shop I have three totes full of LST parts at my local hobby shop I uh, got the aluminum standoffs on this one uh, basically just set this one up to rip man and that was all there was to it but I think we're gonna go back through this one we're gonna clean it up we're gonna try and get her back to original uh, if possible but um, yeah another badass LST this is the one that started it all the uh, LST low seat super truck in my opinion the most iconic and badass monster truck platform to ever hit the rc scene some may differ with me but that's just how i feel of course i've never owned a savage uh something on my bucket list maybe we'll pick up one of the brand new savages uh but personally i would rather have one of the original ones to be honest with you but um yeah i think we'll pick one up though one of the new savages so look for that here in the future uh, we'll beat it up a little bit and then put it on the shelf. So give me a few minutes and uh, We'll get one of these fired up again probably gonna fire up the XXL because it's got the big block Truggy 288 Novorossi you guys love to see and hear that with the 9886 setup on it So I appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next video Hopefully the sunshine will be out. And we'll be able to rip some 1-8 uh, scale Truggy and buggy peace Job was tough for